Here we are everyone on another Khan Academy tutorial. This is use Pythagorean theorem to find right triangle side lengths and I am Mr. West. Let's go ahead and start. Find the value of x in the triangle shown below. One of the things you'll need to know is clearly the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem just states that if we square two legs, add them together, it's gonna to be equal to the hypotenuse squared. So the hypotenuse is always the longest side and it's always opposite the 90 degree angle, meaning it doesn't touch the 90 degree angle. The 90 degree angle opens up to it or points to it, so to speak, and that's how you define or figure out what the hypotenuse is. So we're gonna call that C, and then it doesn't matter which the other two are called, we can call this one A or this one B, okay? So simply, if we're finding the missing leg, so this is a leg, this is the leg, if we're trying to find a missing leg, we're just gonna plug in our values. So we're gonna say A is seven squared plus, call that X squared now, and that is gonna be equal to nine squared. So we have 81 equal, let me change to a different color actually. We have 80, I always do that. 81 equals to seven squared plus X squared, sorry, that's 49. That's what I meant to write. Okay, so we're gonna subtract 49 from both sides. Uh, minus 49, we get X squared minus 49 equals, what is that, 32? to, yep, 32, and we take the square root of that, and we get x equals the square root of 32. So we have one answer here, x equals the square root of 32, and that's what I was looking for. Next question. Okay, this time we're given the two legs. It's very important to identify the hypotenuse in every one of these. So this, in this case, this is our hypotenuse because it's opposite the 90 degree angle. Here's our two legs. So in this case, we're gonna do six squared plus four squared, and that's gonna be equal to x squared. So we just need to add 36 plus 16, and that's gonna give us 52. So 52 is equal to x squared. We need to take the square root of both sides to undo the square. We get x equals the square root of 52, letter A. Check it. Here we go, next question. I guessing all these are like this, so let's go ahead and kind of do it a little bit more quickly now. We know it's gonna be 10 squared, okay? That's the hypotenuse, equals x squared plus six squared. So I'm gonna subtract 100 minus 36, and that's gonna be equal to x squared. And that's 64, take the square root, we get x equals eight. So B is our answer there. Okay, this time it's the hypotenuse that we're missing, so we're not gonna subtract, we're just gonna add. This is our missing hypotenuse. So we're gonna do 36 plus 64, and what is that equal to? Oh, it equals x squared. Okay, so this is 100 equals x squared, so take the square root, and we get x equals 10. Let's see that option, letter D. Okay, how many of these can we do quickly? Okay, this time we're gonna have subtraction because the hypotenuse is a given side and we're looking for a leg. So x squared plus 25. So we're gonna subtract 25 and that's gonna be equal to x squared. x squared equals 11, square root, square root. x equals the square root of 11, letter A. I think I wrote 111, but I think you guys get me. Okay, this time we're looking for the hypotenuse, so we're gonna add the sum of four squared plus eight squared together to find x squared. That's the same thing as 16 plus 64, or what is that, 90? No, 80. And that's equal to x squared. We take the square root, and that's gonna be square root of 80, letter A. Next question. This time we're looking for a leg, we're given the hypotenuse. This one's actually an automatic triangle, okay? So this is x squared uh, plus three squared equals five squared. This is an automatic triangle because it's an integer when we get a value for uh, x squared. So we subtract nine, subtract nine, we get x squared equals 16, perfect square. And we're gonna get four for an answer, which is why it's an automatic triangle, reference triangle. Three, four, five reference triangles, what I was trying to say. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time on West Explains Best.